Hi guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Breaking news, Nigerians. Supreme Court's decision on Inamdi Kanu is shocking and unbelievable, said Hohanese Indigbo. My people, my people, there is no doubt that the Southeast people, the Hohanese Indigbo, Nigerians were all shocked today over the Supreme Court ruling on Inam de Kanu that he has to go back and face treasonable felony charges. It's really shocking and unbelievable. So guys, let's quickly hear the content. The APES Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Hohanese Indigbo Worldwide, has expressed shock and disbelief after the Supreme Court nullified the Court of Appeals judgment, ordering the release of Inamdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. The court heard that the government's adoption of Kanu from Kenya was illegal and at the same time said he should face trial, which means the government will benefit from its wrongs by this judgment. Dr. Alice Ogbonaya Ohanese's spokesman said, Ogbonaya further stated that Ohanese will convene to analyze the ruling and its implication for both the security of the Southeast and the well-being of its people. On Friday morning, the Supreme Court, in a anonymous decision, by a five-member panel acknowledge the illegality of Kanu's extradition from Kenya. However, they ruled that this did not prevent the trial court from continuing its proceedings. The court also criticized the trial court's revocation of Kanu's bail after his 2017 escape triggered by the invasion of his home by security forces, which resulted in casualties. Recall that Inam D. Kanu was initially arrested in Lagos in 2015, has been in custody of the Department of State Security Service, DSS, since June 2021. Recall also that on October 13, 2022, the Court of Appeal 
justice quashed all charges against Kano, agreeing with the submission of Mike Ozekume, the IPOP leader's lead counsel. The Court of Appeal, while discharging Kanu of the 15 count charges against him, had barred the federal government from trying Kanu on the charges he has faced before his forceful rediction from Kenya to Nigeria by agents of Nigerian government on June 27, 2021. But when Justice Emmanuel Aguin of the Harper's Court was given his ruling directed that Inamdi Kanu to go back and defend himself against the remaining seven count terrorism charges before a federal high court in Abuja. So guys, how do you see to this matter? I think there is politics here between the judiciary and the federal government. Too bad for using Inam de Kanu to play politics. In Nigeria, the executive controls the judiciary. Presidential system here is different. That is why if you are not in the good book of the so-called president, you are on your own. Inam de Kanu Mata became worse right from Buhari's regime. My advice here is that the Ohaneze Idigbo should go back to the drawing board in love and unity and plan well with the federal government on how Inam de Kanu should be released soon. So guys, what is your take on this? Please kindly share your view and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.